to episode 10 of the Cottage House Flip, and it was easily the most chaotic one to date. This winter has brought non-stop storms, causing delays and putting us behind schedule. On Friday, the weather cleared up long enough for us to move the furniture in for staging, but upon arrival, I discovered that the floors weren't ready and every single room was a complete mess. The plan for this weekend was to start arranging the furniture so that I could order anything else I needed in time for the final deadline in less than a month. But with that no longer an option, I had to come up with a plan B. With my parents' help, we wasted no time finding things to do. My mom got to work painting the doors. I finally got a chance to install my copper cabinet poles. And my dad reinstalled the closet doors in the bedroom. We also finally completed the stove vent hood. After picking up a few extra reclaimed wood boards, we were able to cut the final trim pieces for the finishing touch. I applied a bit of Minwax stain and weathered oak to make the boards appear more uniform, and we'll be using a matte poly sealer to protect the wood. We also started reattaching the pantry doors, complete with new paint and handles. The contractors began working on the new window bench seat, along with the floating shelves by the fridge. Those are both installed now, so I'll have shots of them for you in next week's episode. Now the kitchen is really starting to come together, and just needs a few more items checked off the to-do list before it's camera ready. Upstairs, we finished the trim work in the bedrooms before painting. A shelf ledge was added to the DIY shiplap wall I started weeks ago, and any missing trim was nailed back into place. With the storm still not letting up, we arrived on day three ready to paint four bedrooms and stepped into a dark house with no power. We couldn't afford to lose a day, so we improvised and dragged a couple dressers outside onto the front porch. For the first dresser, I decided on Maison Blanche's Printemps, which is a soft, subtle green. For dresser number two, I was hoping for a dark gray, but didn't have the right color. So I mixed Maison Blanche's wrought iron with coquille. As we were painting, the winds and rain picked up and the dressers got wet. So we cut our losses and decided to move on to the bedrooms. Luckily, I found a flashlight, so we had just enough light to sort of see what we were doing. It was a joint effort as I sanded and caulked, taped and cut in while my mom helped with the painting. We finished almost two bedrooms and just before nightfall the power returned, allowing us to squeeze in a few last minutes of work. After a day of feeling defeated and even more behind, I was relieved to find the flooring installers there the next morning to finish the job. In just a few short hours, a ton of progress had been made, and I feel like we're back on track. My parents were there again to help, and between the three of us, we now have almost three bedrooms painted. There's just one more left to go, along with painting the new baseboards and tying up any loose ends. I absolutely love the new gray Valspar shade, though, and how much lighter it makes the house feel. Each bedroom has its own unique details and character, and I'm really looking forward to setting up the furniture next weekend and getting the decorating phase underway. I'll be back here in just a couple days, and if the weather cooperates, we're scheduled to begin the long overdue exterior painting. Check back next week to find out if everything went as planned and see some major updates in the bathrooms, kitchen, and bedrooms. Things are really starting to get exciting now, so make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss the next few episodes. And for paint colors and sources for everything in this video, head over to today's blog post, links below in the video description. Thanks for continuing to follow along with the flip, and I'll see you back here next week.